Your dropshipping business is at risk with 30 to 50 day shipping times. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can step out of the AliExpress boundaries and find yourself with better dropshipping suppliers, faster shipping times, better communication, fewer chargebacks and refunds. And at the end of the day, I'm going to help you connect with other suppliers who are not dropshippers themselves, but rather dropshipping friendly suppliers who will be able to ship quickly to your buyers. And this way you're going to be able to make more sales and more profit. So if you're still stuck working only with AliExpress, you do not want to miss this video. I'm also going to provide you with a cheat sheet with everything that I'm going over in this video, as well as links to some of the best suppliers that you can work with today, whether niche or region specific suppliers. And I guarantee that you don't know about most of the suppliers that I'm going to go over in this video. Believe me, you do not want to miss this quick intro and let's go. Welcome back everyone. My name is Liran from AutoDS and as you know in this video I'm going to explain to you why you should stop dropshipping from AliExpress or at the very very least expand your suppliers list and work with more suppliers and I'm also going to show you how you can find these suppliers as well as provide you with some of the best suppliers that you can work with today most of which I'm sure you haven't heard of yet. One sec before we get started if you haven't done so yet do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you always want to learn how to step up your game in the dropshipping world in the e-commerce industry and always stay one step ahead of your competition. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, enable those notifications and let's get this party started. Now we have a lot of content on how to dropship from AliExpress and that is because a lot of dropshippers are using them as a supplier when they're getting started. Now I gave you a small hint but this cheat sheet that you see right here is up for grabs and it's all for you. So if you want access to it after watching this video all you have to do is like this video, comment hashtag suppliers, let me know what you thought about this video and I will send you a link to this cheat sheet that you can use and connect with these wonderful suppliers that I'm about to show you. But why do we want to step out of AliExpress in the first place if they're so dropshipping friendly and they're a huge marketplace and they've been around for years, they have huge credibility, why are we trying to step out of this and look for other suppliers? One of the biggest pain points that we have when dropshipping from AliExpress, and I'm sure that many dropshippers with experience can resonate with what I'm about to say, but AliExpress simply has really long shipping times. And today, the logistics part of your dropshipping business is just as important as the product research part. So product research is important because you need to sell the right products to the right audiences. Even if your store looks really, really bad and you don't know how to write really good product descriptions, you could probably still make some pretty good sales if your product research is on point. And on the other hand, we have logistics. So if your product research is well and you're able to sell products from your product research work, now you need to know how to deliver these products really quickly on time. And of course, we also want to make sure that the products are of high quality and that they also have tracking information so that we can track the package while it's being delivered to our customers. And this is logistics. You want to be able to ship quickly so that your customers will get their packages on time. Today, nobody wants to wait 30, 50 or 60 days to get their packages. We are in the in-demand era and people want their packages yesterday. So if you're working with AliExpress, you know about these really long delivery times. The second pain point is communication. So there's a language barrier at AliExpress. And when you're working with them and you're trying to reach out to the seller and trying to negotiate with him or or try to get some info about a product so that you can help your customer, you'll notice that there's a huge language barrier. Some sellers are not even going to reply to you. Some will reply with some really bad English and some can simply reply after a long delay. And one of the reasons to that is because most of AliExpress's sellers are also dropshippers and many of those dropshippers aren't really good at doing business. And that is why we're here to help you become a good dropshipper that knows how to do business the right way. So that is another issue that we have on AliExpress. It is a platform made of dropshippers who don't care that much about their business. I mean, of course, they're here to make a profit. They want to make a living, but some of them simply don't know English that well. They don't check their inbox all the time because they're still going to make sales one way or another and they don't need you specifically. So keep in mind that most sellers on AliExpress are dropshippers who are also selling to you. The next pain point is chargebacks and refunds. And this happens especially if you're shipping out your products from AliExpress without tracking information. Once that happens and many products do not have tracking information and many dropshippers do not want to choose the tracking information because that's going to set them back a few more dollars and they want to save that for their profits. But what happens at the end is a customer says they didn't receive their product, then they're going to open up a dispute 
they're going to have to get a refund and you won't really be able to prove that it did reach them because there is no tracking information available. So those are the main pain points from AliExpress. And now I'm going to show you how you can upgrade your logistics, ship quickly, get happy customers, returning customers, and also those who refer their friends and their family to also purchase from you because they were really happy when they purchased from your website and that they got the product after just a few days. Now, before I move on to the solution, you may be asking yourself, if AliExpress is so bad, then why are dropshippers still using them? Well, the answer to that is because they're still a super cheap supplier. They're dropshipping friendly. They're looking for dropshippers because they're also dropshippers themselves. And it's also a really good place to test products. I still use AliExpress to test my products, but when it comes to purchasing the product, that's a different story. It's a good place to test products and to also learn about products, see what's trending, especially with the help of the AliExpress dropshipping center. Now, if you want to learn about that, we have a full article about it, as you can see right here in a video embedded inside, and you have the link to it in the cheat sheet that I will provide to you if you comment hashtag suppliers and let me know what you take away from this video is. And of course, don't forget to also like this video. But in any case, the AliExpress dropshipping center is a great place to find items to dropship because this place is simply going to show you products that are trending right now. As you can see in this video, you can hover over each product, see its sales history and simply find out what products are trending right now. This is a great use case for AliExpress and this is a really good reason to log into AliExpress's platform and use it. So it's a great place to test products and learn about new product trends. And for those reasons, many dropshippers are still working with AliExpress. But now let's move on to the solution because we need to upgrade our logistics. We need to ship quickly to our customers and we need to make sure that our products are made of high quality as well as getting really good customer service from our suppliers. So how are we gonna do all of that? Obviously, the first solution is to step out of AliExpress and work with multiple dropshipping suppliers. And before I show you how to find them, first let me tell you what you need to look for when you're looking for a dropshipping supplier. So first you want to make sure that your new supplier has global warehouses. And that's simply because you want to be able to reach a larger target audience around the world. If you're targeting only the United Kingdom today, who's to say that in six months from now you won't also want to add Australia, the United States and other countries around the world. And if you're only going to work with a supplier who can only target one specific country, then he's not going to be able to do that job for you. Next, you want to be able to look for a supplier that has fast shipping and delivery times. This one should go without saying, but it's also really, really important. I mentioned the reasons why your customers want to get their packages now. There used to be a time where waiting 30 days was actually a good thing. And if I get my product in 30 days, I'm actually going to be pretty happy about it. But today that is not happening anymore. And as I mentioned, everybody wants to get their packages right away. So the next thing you want to look for in a dropshipping supplier is that they have quick and fast shipping and delivery times. Next, you want to look for a supplier who offers really good customer service. That's because when a customer reaches out to you, you're going to have to give them an answer. And in most cases, you're going to have to reach out to your supplier, get answers from your supplier, and then transfer that answer down to your customer. Now, if it takes your supplier two, three, five days to answer, it's not really going to be that good. Not only are you going to miss that sell, the customer is way, way gone by now but he's also not going to return to purchase from your store again. But if your supplier does answer quickly, that means that you can also answer your customer quickly and your customer will be happy and most likely check out with the product. Not only are you looking for fast and quick answers, but you also need efficient solutions. So does your supplier offer a good return policy? If there's any problems with the product, can you get a free return? Or are you going to have to pay for the return no matter what? So you want to make sure that your supplier also has really good return policies and that they offer good customer service at the end of the day. Reach out to them, ask a question, see how fast they answer and see how efficient that answer is because that's the exact service that you are going to pass down to your customers. You also want to make sure that your supplier has a really wide product range so that, of course, you'll be able to offer more products to your buyers and make more sales and profit. You can go for a supplier that's in a specific niche, but of course, you're going to want to work with more suppliers that can offer more products outside of that category so that you can always have trending products to sell. Next, you want to make sure that your supplier has high quality products. And that is because you don't want to be dealing that much with returns because the products are just made of really, really bad quality. So you want to make sure that, that the products are of high quality and that the product descriptions are precise. So you want to make sure that you know exactly what your customers are purchasing and that product description is correct. And finally, you want to find a supplier. This one should go without saying but that has really competitive prices. If you're not selling at the right price, you're not gonna make any sales at all. Now, some products can sell at a wide range of prices, so it doesn't really matter, but you still want your suppliers to be competitive so that you can make more profit every time you make your sales. Okay, okay, we get it. 
how do we find these suppliers? So after about 12, 13 minutes of talking, now I'm going to jump down to the action. So now that you understand all of the things that you need to look for in a supplier and why AliExpress can't be the supplier that you want to work with in your dropshipping business, then here is the next step. What you want to do next is in the cheat sheet, click on the how to find dropshipping suppliers, the full guide. And there you'll have this blog article, which will take you step by step in everything that you need to know when finding a dropshipping supplier. Here you also have a list of some of the best wholesale and retail suppliers, how to avoid bad suppliers and fake suppliers, and all in all, how to keep your dropshipping business intact with some of the best suppliers out there, how to find them, what to look out for, and so forth. So start off by reading this article on how to find dropshipping suppliers, the full guide. Next, I wanna go over the best dropshipping suppliers list. So after you read that article and you get a good idea of the suppliers that you should be working with and what you should be looking out for, now let me enrich your knowledge even more. So on the top of our list, on the best dropshipping suppliers list, I'm gonna have you head over to the AutoDS marketplace. Yes, AutoDS, because here we have a new marketplace with lots and lots of trending products. Now, granted, while I'm recording this video, we only have two suppliers in this marketplace, which is AliExpress and Amazon. But by the time you're watching this video, maybe we added more. The point is soon we are going to add private dropshipping suppliers to this list. This means that you're gonna have a database within all of these categories, all of the best dropshipping categories, and you're gonna have exclusive access to private wholesale dropshipping suppliers. This means that you can sell these products on any selling channel that you want, whether you wanna sell on eBay, Shopify, Facebook Marketplace, Facebook Shops, Wix, WooCommerce, Amazon, no matter where you wanna sell, it's easy and profitable when you're working with private dropshipping suppliers. And the only people who will have access to these suppliers is anyone who is a member of AutoDS. And then what you do is once you find products that you wanna sell, for example, right now I'm in the home improvement and tools. So let's say I wanna add this product to my store. I'm just gonna hover over it and click on import draft. But this is just an example. I'm not gonna add a product with 38 business days shipping time, but hopefully by the time you're watching this video, we already added the private suppliers inside. If not, just wait for it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, learn exactly when we're gonna roll out with this feature, and then you will have exclusive access to private dropshipping suppliers. And my next recommendation for what suppliers to use is AutoDS's supported suppliers. So here I have the link to AutoDS's suppliers page, and here you have a mix of retail and wholesale dropshipping suppliers. I'm not gonna dive too deep into it, but you can filter by warehouse location right here. So for example, if you wanna find only suppliers that have warehouses in the United Kingdom, then click on that, and then you'll have the suppliers list here. Okay, but this is just a small example, and the reason that you wanna work with these suppliers is because you can completely automate your dropshipping business when working with them. This means that you're gonna get price and stock monitoring, so every time your price or the stock status has changed on the supplier's website, it's also gonna change on your store, as well as quick product importing, whether you're importing single or multiple products, and automatic orders, and so much more that we have going on in the system. So if you wanna automate your business and be able to scale correctly, you want to be working with these dropshipping suppliers right here. Then all you have to do with them is make sure that they ship quickly to your target audience. Okay, so that's another suppliers list that you can use. But let's continue moving down and learn about more suppliers that you haven't thought about yet. The next one is CJ Dropshipping. You may have heard of it, you may have not, but bear with me because the list is just getting started. So CJ Dropshipping is a great wholesale dropshipping supplier. The only thing is most of their products are being stored in Chinese warehouses. So when working with CJ Dropshipping, you wanna be able to find products that can ship quickly to your target audience. This is what their website looks like. And they've got many new products that are coming out all the time. They're super dropshipping friendly and they're also a wholesale supplier. So if you need a dropshipping contract to show to the marketplace that you're selling on, they can also provide you with that. Not only that, but they also have warehouses all around the world. So if I hover over warehouses right here, and let's say I wanna target the US audience and I can just click on US warehouse and see all of the products that they are storing in US warehouses, meaning I can ship these products really quickly to my US target audience. Let's take a look at the first product here. So this Christom Column Tree of Life winding pendant necklace right here. So I'm gonna click on this product just to get more information. And here inside the product page, I'm gonna choose the shipping from here on the right side from China warehouse. I'm gonna change that to US warehouse. House. And now my shipping time to the United States, as you can see right here, is only three to six days. So that is how I can ship quickly, even from Chinese suppliers, 
to my target audience, no matter what country they're in. And that is why I love to use CJ Dropshipping. Another great advantage is that CJ Dropshipping can also source products for you. So if you find a product that's selling really well for you, and now you wanna buy that product and source it from your own warehouse, CJ Dropshipping can help you with that by negotiating with some of the best Chinese agents for you and finding the cheapest one to source from. So you can get all of that and a lot more from CJ Dropshipping, and that is why they're one of my favorite dropshipping suppliers. But now let's move down the list to more niche specific and more region specific suppliers that I'm sure you haven't heard of. So here are some of the best dropshipping suppliers for specific niches and regions. I have links in the cheat sheet to all of the articles explaining about these suppliers. So once again, if you want access to it, just like this video, comment hashtag suppliers, let me know what your biggest takeaway from this video and I will happily send you this cheat sheet. So here we go, you can find jewelry dropshipping suppliers, both wholesale and retail, clothing dropshipping suppliers, dropshipping gifts for UK suppliers, dropshipping clothes from UK suppliers, candle dropshipping suppliers, so if you wanna dropship candles, Australian dropshipping suppliers, if you wanna dropship to Australia, or at least dropship quickly to the Australian audience, print on demand Australia dropshipping suppliers, so still on Australia, but here's if you wanna go for print on demand, medical supplies dropshipping suppliers, lingerie dropshipping suppliers, Florida dropshipping suppliers for those who want to find more suppliers with fast shipping times to the US. Let's just open that as an example because I can't really open up all these articles. You have a lot of homework to do, but everything that you need is inside this content right here. So here are some of the best Florida dropshipping suppliers. And if I scroll down a bit, you can see some really unique names here like Safety Technology, Drop For You, Baby Bedding Design, Magnum Tuning, CWR Wholesale Distribution. And if you scroll down this list, you have a really good deep analysis about each and every one of these suppliers along with their pros and cons, how fast they ship, if there's any membership fees and everything else you need to know is inside this article. And that is just one example from what you can find out of all of these supplier articles. Pet dropshipping suppliers, Canada dropshipping suppliers, UK dropshipping suppliers, and USA dropshipping suppliers. Once again, you have unique suppliers in this list. The only thing is if they are not AutoDS supported suppliers, you won't really be able to connect with AutoDS and enjoy dropshipping automation and scaling. But then again, if you're looking to automate maybe some of your business and on the other half, you're testing out new suppliers, that's also fine. And if you wanna go completely manual, that's also good, but scaling is not gonna be so easy. You can use them to test products, use them to test your shipping times, but at the end of the day, you wanna be able to automate and scale your business. But I highly recommend to see which of these articles is closest to your niche, is closest to your region, read about it, learn about the best suppliers that you can use, start negotiating with them, and look for the important things that I talked about in a supplier. So besides all of the links to all of these articles with all of the special suppliers inside, after you read all of it, let's say you still wanna expand, you still wanna learn some more. So what I suggest to do right here is go to Google and simply search for private dropshipping suppliers. Now from this, you may get a lot of bloggers websites. So take that with a grain of salt because there could be a lot of affiliate links over there and those suppliers may not really be all that good. So you really have to do your homework there. But some of the results that, you, that you're gonna get are actual private dropshipping companies who want to be your suppliers. And when you find those websites, all you have to do is send those suppliers a message and start negotiating. See what their prices are. See that they have customer reviews. See that they can ship quickly. What are their return policies? Do you have to pay for returns? How fast do they ship? How fast do they deliver? And how fast do they supply you with a tracking number? And so forth. Everything that I went over in this video, make a list and make sure that you're talking to your suppliers about all these things, how fast they answer you, and also how efficient their answers are. Now, I already talked about it, but if you're gonna do this work manually, then you won't really be able to add automation and scale, but it's still could be really good for your knowledge to learn about new suppliers, learn about new products and see what else can sell in your store, then learn how to automate and scale with those products. But what if you still want to continue working with AliExpress? That is completely fine as long as you're looking at the shipping time. Do not choose shipping times that arrive within 30 days, 40, 50, 60 days. This is the logistics part and this is what you need to fix. So let me show you how you can do that. And it's pretty similar to what I showed you on CJ Dropshipping. So here on AliExpress's website, let's just look for a product that we wanna sell. Uh, for example, let's go with dog collars. Okay, the usual classic item. And as you can see, I have all these results for dog collars. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna change my ship from here to the United States. And this is for an example, if I wanna ship quickly to the United States audience and I don't wanna ship from China because of all of the reasons that I mentioned. Remember guys, your dropshipping business is not going to survive with 30 to 60 day shipping times. So here, let's change my ships from 
to the United States. So now I can see all of the products that AliExpress can ship from the United States warehouse, therefore ship quickly from into the US. Let's open up one of these collars and see what the shipping time is. So I clicked on this anti-bark dog collar right here, and I can see right here that I have free shipping to the United States within four to 13 days. Four days is good, 13 isn't bad, but it's not super good. So you wanna continue working with this and seeing what products you can find that can ship really quickly to the United States. This example right here can ship within four to 13 days. Also not so bad, but I'm not sure if it's gonna be four or if it's gonna be 13. And obviously four is much, much better. Let's take a look at a few more examples. This is another one that ships within four to 13 days. And let's just scroll down and try a couple more. Let's also try this one right here. And here you can see a much, much better one. So this one delivers within five to nine days using UPS, tracking information available, free shipping, and this collar costs $9.90. It's got good reviews, and this is a pretty good dropshipable product from into the US, which will arrive in just about one week to your target audience inside the United States. So if you still wanna dropship from AliExpress, the first thing that you need to keep in your mind is how you can improve logistics. And you can do that right here by shipping quickly to your target audience and make sure that the product also has high reviews. You can also check out the seller's reviews by hovering over the seller. Make sure that he's been on the platform for over a year. In this case, he's been here for about two years now and he's got really good seller ratings from his buyers. So this is a product that I would drop ship from into the US if I still wanna use AliExpress. The last thing here is the language barrier, which may not be an issue with a supplier like this. That is why you wanna look for suppliers with high seller ratings. While they still may be a dropshipper, they may actually be a good dropshipper who does care about his business, who is trying to grow, so you are going to get good service, high quality products, and really good prices. I hope you enjoyed this video on why you should stop dropshipping from AliExpress, improve your logistics, ship quickly to your target audience, provide excellent customer service, excellent products, and this is the way to do it. If you want access once again to the cheat sheet, all you have to do is like this video, comment hashtag suppliers let me know what your takeaway is from this video and i will happily send you this cheat sheet and don't forget to subscribe to our channel enable those bell notifications if you want to stay one step ahead of your competition thank you for watching and good luck stepping out of aliexpress